Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will see the demo of the Dwin display. So let's get started. Dwin Technologies are the leading intelligent display manufacturer and has variety of products in all possible dimensions. Dwin has products like TFT LCD panel, UART LCD module, COF displays, Android displays, Linux displays and many more. These displays can be controlled over UART with simple commands and can be interfaced with Arduino, Microchip, PIC microcontrollers, 8051 and other which has UART interface. So let's see the demo now. This is the Dwin 7 inch capacitor touchscreen display. If you see the back side of the display, it has complete required circuitry which has SD card, buzzer, interface connection and regulator circuitry. We can use SD card for flashing purpose. We will have to copy the required files and do the power cycle to flash the display. I will show you that in my upcoming videos. We got two type of connectors which has same connections. Uh, if you see here, we got two UART ports here, but out of which we can use only one. Second UART port is used for Dwin firmware update, which we cannot use directly. We can interface this display with Arduino and any other controller which has UART uh, through which we can control the display. This is the cable which we will have to use. And this is the USB to UART converter and also called as a bridge converter. So through this we can connect this display with PC. So this is the way we have to connect. Now we will power on the display. This is the demo application which will be flashed while shipping the display. And this is the capacitive touchscreen display. So we will see the performance. Now let's see the Dwin editor software where we can design our HMI application and run on the display. So, so the name of the software we'll be using is Digest tool. So let's open it. The user interface of the editor software looks very simple. Let's create a new project. Select the resolution of the display for which you will prepare the design. In my case, the resolution is 480 by 320. So this is the project window where on the left side you can add the images. So on the top side you can see all the controls and the tools. Tools like variable icon, animator icon, slider display. Likewise we have plenty of controls. Here we have touch controls, edit tools. Again this, these are the options for simulation purpose. Either we can run the simulation from the first page or from the current page and this is the setting option where you can configure the display on the right side of the editor you will be able to see the property window uh, so you will be able to see the property of the control which you will be selecting so let's add the images here name of the images should be numeric it should start with 0 1 2 3 likewise so as you can see I have added four images and the resolution of the image should be the same as display. 
so in my case the resolution of the image as you can see it's 480 by 320 so now we will add the buttons here so here I have selected as a basic touch module so I will change the property here the effect I want is this one it should switch to next page I will copy the button and paste it on the next button and the property will be the same I will select the same button effect as the previous button it will switch to next uh, image and this previous image will switch to last image so I can select all the buttons and I can copy and paste it to the next image so all I have to do is change the switching page I will save the project now and I will simulate the project now so here I will select the option as a preview from first page we did not generate any font here so we can ignore this error and if you see if I press next we will be able to see the effect and it will switch to second page and you can double click on the border to quit the simulation now I will save the project and I will click on generate to generate the required files for flashing so after preparing the design we need to create ICL file ICL file is kind of image database for the display go to the setting diggers go to the ICL tool and select the directory your images will appear here make sure that the name of the file should start with zero here you can select the quality of the image like by default it will be 90 percent but i will change it to 100 percent now click on generate icl now save the icl file the name of the icl file should be 32.icl so as you can see the compression is finished the file is generated this is our project folders these folders will get generated when you create the project and this folder we have to copy on the SD card for flashing so let's copy this folder and we'll put it on the SD card Thank you for watching, please like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel for more videos.